Hello, this is about Arnold Spotlight Soft Shadows. Nothing else really. Behind the scenes, this is a character here, character animation. The, the chap actually runs in this direction, but we don't care about it. Uh, he consists of a skin which is hidden, uh, and I attached X Gen spheres to him, and I turned the spheres into glass. So uh, that's the modeling and animation process, uh, which is not uh, important for this tutorial anyway. Um, and uh, I have two lights in the system. One is a HDR mapped uh, sky dome light, which wraps around the whole scene. You see uh, here parts of uh, the HDR image, which you don't see in the rendering, but it affects the glass uh, reflections here in that uh, in that person. And uh, the other light is a spotlight. That's the main light you're going to see. And um, that's basically all. We want to create soft shadows. So let's re uh, render this uh, image here. It renders with motion blur. That's why it's briefly shaking here. So it's still rendering, but we can see what it's all about. Uh, the shadow is in focus very sharp from here to there. And uh, we want to make the uh, shadow soft. The spotlight comes from the left, as you can see. It's a very, sh very sharp and direct with a soft uh, rim here, which is called a penumbra angle. And uh, we want this part here to be less in focus because it's further away from our character. It renders faster if you have it like this, but it uh, is a nice and more realistic effect if this is slightly blurred. How do we find this? Well, we go to the spotlight and in the attribute editor, we need to navigate to the Arnold settings. They're down here. In the Arnold section, you have several par parameters, about 10. And uh, the one which is crucial here is the radius. By default, it's set to zero. So this is what you see, zero. Let's um, enter 0 0.3. You already see Arnold is trying to render something softer here, whereas this is already finished rendering. Here you have to clean up or Arnold has to clean up pixels because it's softer. Now it's done, 25 seconds. Let's keep this in mind here. Let's uh, try to memorize that. The shoulder, for example, is uh, kind of blurry already. This is blurry too, but the, the head is really blurry. So a, a very small uh, amount of, uh, of the radius here is in most cases enough, actually. We can increase the radius to one and it will increase render time, obviously. So rendering took 1 minute and 13 seconds with a higher resolution. Sharp shadow here, softer, 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 very soft here. So that's the value. It's under the Arnold settings. It's not the shadow uh, here under the uh, ordinary spotlight settings. They have a shadow section here as well. It's just being overridden when you render um, with uh, Arnold. That's the Arnold section. That's the radius. Bye.